All right, so we go to the other side of the bracket. Uh, Kurt Angle taking on The Miz. Uh, oh, I got, now, I got a funny take on that based off of, and Stu, you can attest to this, the real-life version of this. We saw it in, uh, when they first, it, mind you, I'm not, I get it, he was in Tough Enough, but we kind of saw it, Miz taking on Kurt Angle, and Kurt Angle kind of like, like wiped the floor with him and made him tap out. So... Everything that Kurt Angle has done, I've seen him have like five star matches with like the smallest, like person on the card when it comes to Rey Mysterio. Uh, when it comes to Luther Reigns, yeah, 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 people like that. Yeah, Kurt Angle will still make a nice match. Being we see what he does with Eddie Guerrero. All right, so yeah, I don't think this is a question, man. Uh, I really think Kurt Angle will just make the Miz tap out, much to the dismay of Maurice on the outside. But if we want to be fun with it, we can say Kurt Angle has Team Angle on the outside. There you go. You know, so which team right. angle? Uh Charlie Haas and uh Sean Benjamin from O3. Okay. O three. All right. Yeah. Stu, is there any chance that Miz pulls off this upset? No. 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 <laughs> he's a wrestling, he's a he's it's, a what? He's a wrestling machine. He won an Olympic gold medal with a, a broken, broken freaking 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 back. Neck. Neck. Yeah. neck. Yeah. Yeah. He will wipe the floor with the yeah. Miz. So you yeah, got Miz. It. It's the luck of the draw. You you got the wrong opponent in the first round. Yeah. Tough break for the Miz. But yes, I will agree that Kurt Angle will would win this first round match. We have booked it. So Kurt Angle knocks off the Miz. Now and this keep in mind if it was Perk Angle, he ain't got no chance of hell. Right. Absolutely. The next matchup. And I said, I could not believe this when it popped up. <laughs> you you can't have two more similar builds, two more powerful guys than Hammerstone and Ryback facing off on this. I mean, I was dying laughing when this hit. You know, Ryback, hey, at when he was at the top, ran the table, was unbeaten, and then finally ran into CM Punk. And we, you know, we all know Ryback's a little an interesting character, shall we say? But could he knock off Hammerstone? I mean, what? A, this would be a this would be a nasty match, Stu. What do you think? I got to go Hammerstone on this one. Hammerstone's a little more. He's got a few more moves. Um, I got to go Hammerstone on this one. Don't want to see Ryback and Kurt Angle and Jay. What do you think? Hell no, we saw that. <laughs> You know what's crazy, Stu? I just saw. We, I just said we just kind of saw that with Kurt and the Miz at Tough Enough. We all we saw that too at Tough Enough. Kurt and Skip Sheffield battle it battle it out a little bit in two thousand four. So no, I don't want to see that. Hammerstone, without a doubt. Yeah, that man is like, yeah, he's he's dope. He can do a lot more. He's a lot more uh, versatile than right back. Uh, exactly. So yeah, Hammerstone, uh, without question, uh, moves on. Yeah, as as tempting it would to be make the crowd incredibly angry and have Ryback go through, I will I will send Hammerstone through as well. So I can't even remember a good Ryback match, to be honest with you. I mean, he shit the bed <laughs> with Mark Henry at WrestleMania, to be honest. <laughs> That's just me. I could be wrong. Stu, reaction to, huh? to Ryback not having a good match. I mean, do you remember uh, a good match yeah. is? Yeah, I don't yeah, I don't remember him See, having a good match. I, I mean Hammerstone had a lot of class with Jacob he, uh, too. Well, he, he was, was in the Nexus. Like, he, he was kind. He was. I mean, like, he had a good match. He was kind of like, kind of like Goldberg. He had to go. It had to be short. Yeah, it wouldn't. Have, you know. because he was with Nexus. That means that doesn't mean. And I say Goldberg would beat Ryback. Right. Goldberg now would beat Ryback. Right. Wow. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. So we got Hammerstone going through. This one's an intriguing matchup, but a real blast from the past with Thunderbolt Patterson. You know, pretty underrated wrestler, and of course, you know, had a lot of issues. You know, just trying to start a union, and uh, you know, was discussing about how a, a lot of promoters were racist and so on, uh, and probably held him back in a little bit in his career uh, until he got the break with Dusty Rhodes stepping away and Thunderbolt stepped in in, in Mid Atlantic, and but he gets Lex Luger, and you know, this is a you know for those that uh, know Thunderbolt Patterson, he was one tough son of a gun. But guys, can he take out? Would he take out Lex Luger? Would you? Would you put Patterson over him, Stu? What do you think? Hmm. All right, and this it's totally totally personal bias, only because I got to know him in in Las Vegas this this past August. I'm gonna go Thunderbolt Patterson. Wow, Luger Luger was good, but he was limited in his moveset. He had he had the body that that was. 
that was the biggest thing about Luger. He had the body. And I think Thunderbolt could find a way to get past Lex Luger. Wow, that's interesting. Um, I tossed on this one a little, tossed and turned a little bit on this one too. I I did go with Lex Luger though. Uh, just a little, little more powerful. Uh, just, it, it, but it wasn't an easy decision. I'll say that. Yeah. I mean, it, it would it would be cool to see Thunderbolt Patterson advance in this tournament, but I decided to go with the total package. NJ, that means it's on you. Who advances out of this? match of two eras lex luger or thunderbolt patterson well like you said it would be cool to see uh him advance but i'm gonna tell you that he's actually gonna advance thunderbolt patterson my man like i said the charisma from the gate uh he probably like i said he'll psych lex luger out on the mic so and then like i said he's another version of like junkyard dog before he became junkyard dog so he can take him down to the mat he can probably hit him <clears throat> he can out ring technician him. Like he's a bodybuilder, so he's not gonna know how to get all half of the moves that Thunderbolt Patterson gonna put him in. So he's gonna mess around and tap out. So yeah, Thunderbolt Patterson advance to the next round. Wow, there you go. All right, so Thunderbolt Patterson's through. He gets the winner of, and I couldn't believe this happened either. We've got a cowboy in JBL, and we've got an Indian in you Mark Youngblood. You I, I, this is totally this random. One. I'm you not knew kidding. What you were doing with this one, JBL. You know he don't like no damn Indians. You know he don't like no immigrants. You knew what the hell you were doing, Mark. Don't act like you didn't do this. I, you I this didn't. Up. I kid you not. Totally random. I'll but, have to start videotaping my well, spins I'm a, on the wheel. I'm going to kick it off. Nobody's beating the clothesline from hell, JBL. And like I said, longest reigning champion in SmackDown history, JBL. Sorry. Stick. Young blood, you weren't ready for this encounter with the longest reigning a wrestling god, John Bradshaw Layfield. And, and like I said, like... The, the the power that JBL, the weight detection, the height. Yeah, that's a wrap. Stu, you, you know who Mark Youngblood is, I assume. So I do. You... I do. He was a fantastic wrestler, but his success was primarily in tag teams. So I gotta go with I gotta go with the Athens, Texas native. The Texas native. There you go. And Athens, I... Texas. Texas native. Up in up in northeast Texas, up where yep. I'm looking out for our fellow Texans. A, a will... proud alum of Abilene Christian. There you go. And another person who we just got to know at CAC yeah. out here in Las Vegas. So, yeah. yeah, JBL. I will take JBL, too, because if I said that he was going to lose to Mark Youngblood, he'd probably hunt me down and kill me. So, Perfect. <laughs> so we will take JBL. So, round one is over. So, here, here were your results with our exciting crew here, Stu Myrick and NJ Holiday, and myself, Mark Hoke, on the Mark Hoke Show late night. So, Braun Strowman knocks off Greg Valentine, Josh Alexander over Jose Luis Rivera. Rich Swan over Iron Mike Sharp. Kamala in a tight decision beats Kushida. Kurt Angle over The Miz. Hammerstone over Ryback. Thunderbolt Patterson beats Lex Luger. And JBL beats Mark Youngbloods. Hi, pro wrestling fans. Mark Hoke here. I'd really appreciate it if you would take a moment to join the Mark Hoke Show family. And please click on the subscribe button below. Also, please stick around and check out the incredible sponsor of this video. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you again on the Mark Hoke Show YouTube channel. Hey there, adventure seeker. Ready to unlock incredible hotel deals? Get a free membership and save up to 50%. Stay grand. Spend less. The simplest site. The best unpublished hotel deals. TheTravelShark.com